Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. This video is actually a follow-up to a video I did yesterday. In yesterday's video, I took this image of the woman in front of the green screen and I demonstrated how to cut her out from that background. In that video, I mentioned that we photographers, when we're using strobes and we plan to cut the subject out from the background, should never use a green background or any colored background for that matter because the strobes are just blasting so much light on the subject that light will bounce off the background and often leave an undesirable color cast on our subject. In this case, if you look closely, you'll notice her, her dress itself has a bit of a green uh, cast to it. And actually, if I zoom in on the bag, you can see the bottom part of the bag has a definite definite green color cast to it. Well, after that video posted, at least two people mentioned in the comments that they wanted me to do a video demonstrating how to remove the color cast. So that's what we're going to do in this video. Now I'm going to show you two different methods. The first, first method is a little more difficult, but is, it is the method you would have to use if there were other green elements in the scene, meaning if she had on a green dress, then we'd have to use this method. If she was wearing green shoes, we'd have to use this method because this method is more precise. What we're going to do is we're going to select the areas that have the green color cast first, then we'll remove the green color cast. Now to do that, we're gonna get the quick selection tool. The quick selection tool keyboard shortcut is W. Now in the description below the video, I'll have a list of all the keyboard shortcuts I mentioned in the video. I'll also have a link to the video where I demonstrate how to remove the green screen. So if you haven't seen that, look in the description below for the link. All right, now we have the quick selection tool. Make sure you're using the quick selection tool if you use the keyboard shortcut W because there's actually three tools that share that keyboard shortcut. So make sure you're using the quick selection tool. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zoom in by hitting command plus a couple times and then hold the space bar and, and go over here where this green color cast actually is. And I want to just select that area. So I'm just gonna use the quick selection tool to draw the selection. Now, your selection actually doesn't have to be too precise. Uh, just make sure that you're getting all of the green and it doesn't matter if you're overlapping on white or anything that isn't green, but if let's say she had a green bag as well as these other bags in this pile, make sure that you're not selecting that green bag. Now in this case she isn't, so I don't have to worry about it. So I selected the actual, I got a little greedy there. Uh, I selected the actual part of the bag that has that green color cast. Now I also need to select her dress. Uh, her dress has a very slight green color cast as well, although it's not as bad as the bag. So what we're going to do is we're going to just do a very fast, or as they say, quick selection of her dress. Now come out, hold the uh, the Alt or Option key, and it's Alt if you have PC option. If you have a Mac, and you could remove the selection from where you don't want it. Definitely don't want it on her hair. So that's pretty good. We have the selection of the dress. All right, so we have the selection of the areas that have the green color cast. Actually, I missed a little bit right there on her dress. Now, we don't have to refine the edge or anything like that in most cases, and I'm not going to do it here. Now, what we need to do is get a hue saturation adjustment layer. Now, I use the photography workspace. So if your Photoshop doesn't look like mine, if you click right here, you could see the different workspaces. I'm using the photography workspace. In the photography workspace, the adjustment layers are right here. And I want to use that hue saturation adjustment layer. Now, as soon as I click on it, it's going to come with a mask. And the mask is automatically going to set up so that the hue adjustment layer will only affect the areas I just selected. So I'll click on that. And then if you look down here in the layers panel, you'll see that the mask, the white areas are where this adjustment are, is going to affect. So it's only going to affect the bottom of the bag and her dress. Now what we want to do is key out or get rid of that green color cast. So we'll go to greens. Now if you want to be more precise, let's say that the color you're trying to get rid of isn't a red, yellow, green, cyan, blue, 
magenta exactly. What you could do then is click on this first eyedropper tool and then just click on the color you want to get rid of, in this case, that green. So you could see it didn't really move because it's green. Now what we need to do is just go to saturation and just pull it down and watch the bottom of the bag. See the color cast is gone. I missed a little bit over in there, but you could see and her dress as well. Watch. I'll go back to zero and then watch her dress. See how it whitens up? So that is the more precise way to do it. Uh, the, again, you'll need to use that method if you need to be precise. There's something green in the image that you can't remove the color from. Now I'm going to get rid of that adjustment layer. Now here is a less precise way, but an easier way to do it. You don't have to do the selection at all. In this case, she isn't holding anything green. She doesn't have on green shoes, and she isn't wearing any green clothing. She doesn't have any jewelry on that is green. So I could just get that U saturation adjustment layer. I could go to master, go on greens. I could go to saturation and just pull it down and we'll suck all that green color cast away and she's good to go. Now, what you could do is you could flatten this uh, when you're done. You could just go up to layer and down to flatten the image. So then you'll have just an image with the woman uh, without any green background, without any green color cast. Or if you prefer, you could uh, just uh, put a stamped layer on top. To do that, you would hit the crazy keyboard shortcut if you have a Mac, Shift Option Command E. If you have a PC, Shift Alt Control E. And then it will put a stamp layer on the very top. So you'll have the woman cut out from the green background and there will be uh, no green color cast on any of the things she's holding or her clothing. And it does help her skin a little bit as well because that green was making her skin look a little funny in my opinion. So that's it. Uh, that's how you would remove a color cast from a subject in Photoshop. Thank you to the people uh, that suggested I do this video in the comment section of yesterday's video. I really do appreciate the suggestion and thank everyone for watching my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon. <laughs>